How's everybody doing this Friday? Welcome to the live stream. We have a couple people in here. Hopefully we'll get some more trickling in over the next few minutes. I hope um, Epiphany Card Collector makes it tonight. He sponsored a couple of Grimm's Hidden Treasure Packs. So we'd sure like to open those when he is here. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? So did anybody uh, watch any spring training stuff this week or watch any baseball news? Anything interesting going on with your teams? I haven't had much time to check out the Cubs this week, but hopefully they're doing fine over there in Arizona spring training. I'm doing pretty good this week. As you know, I got pretty busy and had to do a uh, little bit of catch up on my videos. And you saw all of that yesterday. So, yeah, it was a crazy week for me. <laughs> That's for sure. Huh. I just I picked up a... The remnants of a box of 1988 tops at my local card shop, and it was just the display box with a few packs in it. The bottom of it's a little beat up, but hey, this is a pretty good box bottom. It's got uh, Nolan Ryan on there. It's got Ricky Henderson on there and Mike Schmidt there in the corner. Three Hall of Famers on this box bottom. That's pretty good. Hmm. Too bad it's beat up. That would have been a an amazing one to put into a box bottom collection. <laughs> well, uh, what kind of showdown are you looking for there, uh, Steve? <laughs> I don't know what kind of showdown you're waiting for. Well, while we're waiting for some more folks to drop on in, how you doing, John? Good to see you. Matt and Debbie and Steve. I think you're the only ones here so far tonight. Yep. So while we're waiting for everyone to come on in, why don't we uh, just rip a few packs for fun? I have some 88 and 90 tops here. Let's just take a look and see what we can pull from some vintage packs while we're waiting. 1988 Tops was the first set that I completed, I believe, way back when it was a new product in 1988. Let's go back down a memory lane a little bit right here. See who we can find just for fun. For a few minutes while we're waiting for folks to drop in. Hey, Grade Worthy Trading Cards is in the house. How about a nice-looking, well-centered Paul Molitor card from 1988 Tops, Followed by a Dave Winfield All-Star. Nice Hall of Famer there as well. There's a nice Wade Boggs. This is a pretty good pack to just randomly pick up and open. Got some nice cards in it. Don Mattingly and Ricky Henderson on this record breaker. And there's a sweet checklist for those who collect checklists. See who else is hanging out in this 88 pack. Oh, not too bad. Three Hall of Famers, and I'd, I'd count that one with uh, Ricky Henderson on it as a Hall of Famer appearance anyway for sure. Let's rip a pack of 1990 while we're sitting here waiting. Before we do... Oh, look who's on the back of this one. I'm glad there was nothing wet on the back of this. The gum was very dry. We've got card number 300, a beautiful 1990 Bo Jackson right there. Hanging out on the bottom of the stack. That is a cool card to just get when you open a pack. Uh, 
All right, let's finish off this one. That was a cool card right off the top. Now Bernanski and Johnson and Kittle. There's Hall of Famer George Brett. We'll add him to the little Hall of Famer stack here. And how about a Cal Ripken All-Star card? Another Hall of Famer from the 1990 Tops. And another checklist. And how about a Will Clark to finish things off? Those were uh, two pretty good packs for just grabbing them off the stack. They weren't even from full boxes or sealed boxes or anything. That's just the remnants that my local card have had sitting on their shelf a couple days ago. I might have to see what else he has just hanging out on the shelf. Those were pretty good. So who has a favorite player on that little board that we just opened up? We've got a Cal Ripken up there, a George Brett, a Winfield. I know Steve likes Paul Molitor for sure. I'm a big fan of Bo Jackson, so that was a nice one to pull. I think John is probably... Are you a, are you a Raiders fan, John? I can't remember if you are a Raiders fan or not. Yes, of course, Steve. I knew you'd pick the Molitor. <laughs> Matt likes the bow. Cool. Grade Worthy collects Mattingly and Boggs. Yeah, I'm a big fan of both of those players, Mattingly and Boggs. Looks like the Boggs got a little bit of... Uh, problems with the machine on the bottom edge here it's a bit rough that happens though Did somebody else just drop in we've got eight of us in here right now oh there we go john says yes he's a raiders fan so bo jackson would be a one that he likes for sure so uh did all of you enjoy the little mixer packs we did this week during the week i was running out of things to open so i just went down to my local card shop and did a little 100 dollar uh, sort of spending spree just to get some things to open for the week and uh, i had fun opening all of those different packs and seeing sets that i had never seen before and finding a couple that i think i would like to collect so i had a good time opening those it was it was fun Oh, yeah, John, you did like that basketball, didn't you? That was, it's so hard to find any kind of new basketball stuff for a reasonable price. All of it is just so expensive that uh, it's hard to pick up basketball. So I thought doing some vintage would be nice. You know, we get those, those classic players in there, Charles Barkley. We didn't pull any Michael Jordans, though. That was unfortunate, but uh, it was a lot of fun to check out something other than baseball for for Wednesday. So that was a lot of fun. All right. Well, let's let's get started with something. All right. Sorry, I had to take a small little break there. My daughter was leaving, so I had to tell her goodbye. Um, okay, so why don't we do a little randomization here? We have eight. Oh, there's Epiphany Card Collector. Yes, I was hoping you were going to show up since you have a couple of uh, mystery packs to open tonight. So we have Debbie, Chris, Matt, Steve, John, Gradeworthy Trading Cards, and Epiphany Card Collector. So we have some folks in the house tonight. All right, let's, I have, is that six of you? 
Or there are more than six of you. I can't I can't count tonight for some reason. I'm going to do a random number generator real quick. And we're going to pick a live stream winner. This won't be our Friday giveaway, but this will just be a live stream winner. And we're going to assign some numbers to each of you real quick. If I could find a pen. All right, Debbie, you will be number one on the list. And we'll put Matt at number two. And Steve is going to be number three on this list that I'm making right now. And then John will be number four. Grade Worthy will be number five. And uh, let's see. Epiphany will be number six. Do we have anybody else in here? I'm noticing that uh, we have 10 people watching. Big G and okay, Tops Vintage, you're going to be number seven. And Big G, you're going to be number eight. Is there anybody else in here who has not left a chat message? Because I'm showing 10 people in the room, but I only have eight people on my list here. Who did I miss? Oh, you've got a ribeye dinner? I'm jealous of Epiphany Card Collector. A ribeye dinner sounds great. All right. Um, I'm going to assume that everyone who is in the room has left a chat message, and I have eight of you. So I'm going to do a random number generator between one and eight right now. I did get Matt. Yes, he's number two on the list. But, and there's not another Matt in here, I don't think. We just have the one Matt. Okay. So I'm going to go with the eight that I have on the list. Yeah, it could be people without a YouTube account. I guess that's possible. But here we go. Random number generator. One out of eight has generated number four. Number four is John F. So John F., we're going to open three packs of cards for you. We're going to open an 87 Tops, an 89 Fleer, and an 87 Donruss. These are for John F. He's going to be our live stream winner for the night. And we'll do our uh, fan giveaway in a little bit as well. So here we go. John F. 87 Donruss to start. There's a Bob Walk. And a Rick Sutcliffe for you. Ken Oberkfell and Andres Galarraga. Got Jim Acker. Moose Haas. John Moses. Rob Wilfong and Hubie Brooks. Ed Romero and Hal McRae. Glenn Braggs. There's a Rafael Ramirez, a Manny Trio, and Jose Uribe. That's out of your 1987 Donruss. Now, do you want the uh, wrappers for these packs? Because I can put them back in the wrapper for you, and then you'll have the wrappers, because these are vintage wrappers. I don't know if you want those. Let's go with the... 89 Fleer. You know, I've not pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. from all the 89 Fleer that I've opened on the channel. So it would be cool to get one. All right, some nice stickers there. And we're going to start with a Darnell Coles. 
How about Hall of Famer Ozzy Smith from 89 Fleer? That's a good looking card. And a Wade Boggs. Two Hall of Famers. That's a good start for a pack right there. Got Bill Long and Nick Asaski. Rex Hudler. Mario Diaz. Scott Geraltz and Tim Leary. There's a Nepper. How about a Jose Canseco? Another awesome player from the 80s right there. Put Jose on the board. Got Jeff Pico and Roberto Kelly. Ricky Jordan. O to be McDowell. How about Hall of Famer Tom Glavin? That's a nice card right there. Glavin, that's a third year Glavin card. Hall of Famer. And we've got the triple A's. Who we got here? Jose Canseco, Terry Steinbeck, and Mark McGuire. We'll finish off with a Danny Cox right there. Nope, I've never pulled that Cal Ripken card that everyone wants to find. That's one that I've not pulled, and I've never pulled the Marlboro uh, Randy Johnson either. I think that's in this set as well. Maybe, I don't know. The Randy Johnson one, I'm not exactly sure which set it's in, but I haven't pulled that one either. All right, package that one back up for you. And one more pack, 1987. Yeah, Billy Ripken. That's right, not Cal Ripken. Cal's brother. The lesser known Billy. He's probably more known for that bat than he is for anything else, right? Okay, 1987 tops. Sammy Khalifa. Bobby Valentine and Brooke Jacoby. There's Rafael Santana. R.J. Reynolds and Brett Saberhagen. George Bamberger and, hey, this guy's the best. The best Carl, anyway. Here's a Mike Schmidt Hall of Famer All-Star card. Luis Aquino. Mitch Williams, Joel Skinner. Terry Pull, there's Dave Henderson, Searage, and LaPointe. So your best card out of that one would be the Mike Schmidt. And, of course, the 87 wood grain is classic in its own right, so you'll have a few of those to add to your 87 collection. All right. So congratulations to John for winning some cards on our live stream tonight. I'll get those sent off to you. Get your name put on those as well so I don't forget who they belong to as the night goes along here. There we go. Your name is on those cards. All right, we're going to remove John from the randomizer here, and we're going to do one more Fan Friday live stream winner. If a number four comes up, we'll just redo it. So we've got um, eight people here total. And we're going to generate one more winner right now. And we pulled up a three. That would be Steve Rademacher. Steve Rademacher, you are a winner on this live stream tonight. And we've got three packs for you as well. We have a 1992 Fleer Ultra. A 19, uh, I think this is an 89 Dawn's pack. And a 1990 Tops pack. Ooh, a 1990. That's that's where No Name Frank likes to reside. We'll have to see if that comes up. 
Here we go. Let's start with the 92 Fleer Ultra. It seems to me that I really liked this set. Let me see if this is the set that I remember. It is. I really liked this set. I liked this green color along the bottom. It looks like looks like marble. You know, like stone along the bottom. I just liked this particular year of Fleer Ultra. So we've got Kelly Gruber. There's an awesome Mark Grace. Pete Harnish. Dave Cohn. There's a rookie card of Anthony Young. Dale Murphy. He's a classic player. Dennis Martinez. And there's Will Clark. He is another popular player. Brian Smith. And there's Doug Drebeck. And Bruce Hurst. And we've got Brian Harvey. And Dwayne Ward. And your last card is Jerome Walton from that 92 Fleer Ultra set. I'm going to put those back in the wrapper here for you so they'll have that additional protection when they get sent out to you. Let's do some 89 Donruss. This could be Kurt Schilling or Randy Johnson or Ken Griffey Jr., to name a few of the great rookies from this set. And nice puzzle piece. And we're going to start with Bud Black. And Gerald Young. There's a Harold Reynolds and a Don Robinson. Rated rookie Dave West. Mike Greenwell. And Van Snyder and Ernie Witt. Oh, I saw Bo and I was thinking Bo Jackson. McCullers, Lighter. There's Pena and Santos. Devin White and Kevin McReynolds from the 89 Donruss pack. No Hall of Famers in that pack. That's no fun, but... That is the nature of the baseball card world. Sometimes you get what you want. Sometimes you don't. 1990 Fleer. Here we go. How you doing, Caleb? Nice to see you. Yeah. Oh, hey, right on the bottom. Look at this. We had a Bo Jackson in our last pack. And how about a Randy Johnson right there? And, um... I don't know if this is considered, this isn't his top's rookie card. That would have been an 89, I believe, but still nice Randy Johnson card there. Let's see. Got Lawless and Meyer. There's Mike Scott and Pete Smith. Howell and Braggs, Chris Sabo. There's a Lee Brandt. Oh, there's one of my silly names, guys. Mr. Clutterbuck himself. It's a funny last name. Matt Young and Atlee Hammaker. Sheraldi, Boston, and Buner. So Randy Johnson is your best card, I think, out of those three packs. I'll get your name put onto those and get those sent out to you. All right, so congratulations to Steve being one of our winners tonight. Get your name written down. Steve R., there you go. Okay. Let's see, um, Epiphany Card Collector. I have 13. I think 13 of those of those uh, mystery packs left. So I have 13. You need to pick two numbers between 1 and 13, and I will count 
up through the packs and pull those two packs and we'll open one of those right now. Hey, don't talk to robots is in the house. How you doing? So two numbers between one and 13 epiphany. And those are the mystery packs we'll open for you tonight. All right. Four and 12. Awesome. All right, so four and 12 in the stack ended up being pack number six right there and pack number 14 right there, six and 14. All right, just one moment, we'll open one of these. Sorry about that little pause in the action. I, My son was just calling me. Ah, it's hard to do a live stream sometimes when you have kids around, right? <laughs> All right. So let us open this mystery pack for Epiphany cards. All right. The first two numbers said by the chat. Let's see. So you want to switch to one and three? <laughs> yeah, guys, I can do uh, one and three. Okay, one and three. Three. All right. Sorry, I misread my chat a minute ago. So one and three ends up being pack number 25 and pack number 15. So which one do you want me to open first, Epiphany? 25 or 15? You choose which one and we'll open that. I noticed it was Steve who said four and 12 earlier. <laughs> I didn't even read his name. I just was looking for numbers. And then you said you'd take the first two numbers on the chat. So anyway... So do you want me to open 15 or 25? Whichever one you want is what we will do. And there should be some good stuff still available in here. I know that the packs are from last year. So it's going to be uh, fun to see uh, what packs are in these unopened packs. For sure. Okay, you're going to make me choose. All right, well, we're going to choose 25 at 25 because it's even on both sides, or I guess odd on both sides. We'll do pack number 25. All right, get the card shaken down there so we don't chop anyone's head off with the scissors. Now, those of you who are not aware, the Mickey Mantle card was already pulled from these packs. That's why these are now only $25 instead of the original um, $60. Um, Debbie Olson pulled the um, Mickey Mantle a few weeks back on one of our live streams. So there is the mystery card right there, the graded card. We're going to leave that in its pack. And here we go. Let's look at the cards you have behind the packs. We're going to start with a Michael Chavis rookie. And that is from 2019 Tops Update, Michael Chavis rookie. So that's your first card. Now, when I built these packs, Chavis was one of those that people were chasing and wanting to get. But there he is. There's a Nick Senzel rookie from that update set as well. 
So there's Nick Senzel. And what do we got here? It's a brewer. Who's the brewer? Oh, look at that sweet Raleigh fingers. Check out that mustache. Now that's a fun card. Nice sharp corners. This is a 1984 Fleer. Check that out. That is classic. Classic Raleigh fingers right there. Fun stuff. All right. Next in the line is going to be a, ooh, look at that, a Frank Thomas. This is from 1997 Tops. Frank Thomas, check that out. That's a sweet card. Frank Thomas. And now we've got a Hall of Famer John Smoltz. This is from... Looks like 1993 Stadium Club. Pretty cool John Smoltz right there. Now your vintage card. Nope, not your vintage one yet. Oh, yeah. How about that? A nice Nolan Ryan strikeout leaders. That's a nice card right there. Beautiful. This is a 1979 Tops card. 1979 tops, Nolan Ryan. And here is your vintage card. It's going to be a Bill Madlock tops from 1979, Bill Madlock, 1979 tops. So those are your stars, Hall of Famers, and classic cards from this pack. Your unopened packs are going to be a 2020 Topps Baseball Series 2 and 1981 Donruss. That's going to be a fun one to open. And a hobby pack of 2020 Stadium Club. So this is what we're going to open right now. Why don't we go... Um, Newest to oldest. So we will open the Series 2 tops because that was the most recent release from this stack. Let's see who we can pull for you. There's a Wrangle Ravello. Yes, I can send that Frank Thomas card to Debbie. She is a massive White Sox fan. So I will set that one aside for Debbie. Thank you, Epiphany. That's very generous of you. Giving some cards to the community. I love that. And there's Victor Caratini. And we've got Martin Maldonado. Jake Cave. Homer Bailey. Got a uh, foil card of Yanni uh, Carinos. Oh, now how about that? A sweet Hank Aaron turkey red. Rest in peace, Hank Aaron. And we can honor him right there with a turkey red of Hank Aaron. That's a nice card. There's Blake Snell. Archie Bradley. Lance Lynn and Alex Cobb. Cincinnati Reds team card, Giants team card, and a Mike Fultonwitz right there to finish off that pack. Now we will go to the 2020 Stadium Club. One of my guys that picked up, I think it was Kyle's cards that bought one of these uh, mystery packs got a, a pack of this stadium club and he pulled a one of one printing plate from his stadium club pack. That was pretty sweet. All right. There's a Christian Yelich to start things off. Mauricio Dubon rookie card. That's a Seth Brown. 
Oh, you have got an autograph in this one of Trent Grisham. You just pulled a Trent Grisham autograph from your stadium club pack right here and a Barry Larkin right there. But check that out. A Trent Grisham on-card autograph from 2020 Stadium Club. Nice pull right there. That is sweet. And you've got two Barry Larkin cards in here as well. You've got the red Barry Larkin and the base Barry Larkin right there. We're going to finish off with Joey Lucchese and a Josh Hader. But I would say your best card is probably your on-card autograph of Trent Grisham. That is sweet. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, don't choke to death on your ribeye. <laughs> uh, let me see if that's a numbered one or not. Let's flip it over here. Uh, nope, this one doesn't look like it's numbered. It's just simply a, an autographed card. Yep, but not numbered. Tops certified autograph issue. That's a nice pull for you. Congratulations on that one. That's sweet. Okay, we still have the 1981 Donruss pack to open. Let us see what you get from this one. 1981 Donruss. No, not on the wax. Ah, 1981 Ricky Henderson. He's got a little wax on the front, but I understand someone told me that you can use nylon stockings to carefully take the wax off of these cards. Oh, man. I hope you can. It's not perfect. It's not centered very well, but 1981 Donruss had problems with their centering. But, uh, you know, you can give that, that trick a try with the nylon stockings to see if you can get that wax off of there oh what a time to get a ricky henderson and he's sitting right on the wax that's just not cool oh your gum side is william russell okay let's finish through this pack we've got mark fidrick bruce bocce there's Al Woods, Ron Reed, and Rick Honeycutt, Don Sutton. That's a nicely centered Don Sutton right there. John Fulgham. There's the John Charbonneau. I think that's his rookie card. It is. Hey, how about a Carl Yastrzemski? And that one is a good-looking one. That's very well-centered. The coloring is beautiful. A sweet Carl Yastrzemski. All right, we're going to put him in there. Yastrzemski and Henderson in the same pack. That's cool. Eric Soderholm and Mike Norris. Duffy Dyer, Raphael Landestoy, Jackson Todd, Dan Meyer, Gary Maddox, and Bill Russell on the bottom with the very awful toxic wax or toxic gum stain right there. So that is your 81 Donruss pack. You're doing pretty well so far. We still have one more thing to open from this mystery pack. Here we go. Time for the reveal on your... Oh, I see. <laughs> A mess of things. There you go. Got to rub it on. No, even better, rub it on somebody else's leg. How about that? That's how you have to properly do the pantyhose thing. All right, here we go. Make sure I've got this the correct way. Here's the reveal. What are we going to get? Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be a... A what? 1975 Tops. Number 153. What? It's going to be a Mint 9 Rick Rochelle. 1975. 
Rick Rochelle, Mint 9. Cubs player. That's a nice vintage card in excellent condition. I do like this set. I enjoyed this, the bi color or the dual color border on this. That's a nice card right there for you to add to your stack of cards from your first mystery pack of the night. You did quite well with a Ricky Henderson, an autograph, a Yastrzemski. I'm actually going to top load your Carl Yastrzemski card just because. That's a nice vintage card right there. And I'll even top load your Ricky Henderson on the crazy chance that you can get that wax off of there. There you go. And we'll top load your autograph. How about that? <laughs> Family friendly mess of things. You're ideal. I think that's pretty friendly. It could be anybody you wanted. You know, it doesn't have to be a stranger. Come on now. All right, there we go. Excellent job on that one. Let us move on now to our official giveaway for Fan Friday, the one from folks who have uh, commented on the videos throughout the week. Let's take care of that. I'm going to set these cards back in your mystery pack pouch, Epiphany. Get those sent out to you this week and we'll open your other mystery pack after the giveaway okay let me make a little note for epiphany's stack here there we go Put that over there all right so I have a uh, preloaded every um, did the random comment generator already and have put folks on the wheel already. Let me see who we have on this week's wheel of names. We have Steve Rademacher, Avid Atlanta fan, Matt Chris, Big G, Epiphany Card Collector. Tops Vintage 316 and John F. That's who we have on the wheel. Let me get over to my random number generator. We're going to be using a pack of 1999 Tops football to get our shuffling number that we always use when we do the random generator. There's 11 cards in this pack. We are going to shuffle. All right, card number five. So whatever the card number is on the fifth card down from the top, we will look at the card number and take the second digit of that. And that's how many times we will randomize our wheel of names. So there's card number one, number two, number three, number four, Card number five, whoa, ho, ho. card number five is a Brett Favre right there. That is cool. Whoever wins the prize also gets the Brett Favre rookie. So how about that? He is card number 250. So we're going to randomize the wheel of names five times because that's the second digit. Brett Favre, thank you. Hmm. There's a Steve Young. There's a Gibson and a Grobeck. I just like to look at everything in the pack. Um, draft player and a Kevin Hardy. All right. Brett Favre. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to randomize five times. There's one time, two, three, four, and five times shuffle. Now we're going to spin and see who wins this week. There goes the wheel. Brett Favre is going to be added to the stack of cards. And the winner this week, Fan Friday giveaway, is Matt Chris. Congratulations, Matt Chris. Are you still in the room with us tonight? I haven't seen your comments in a few minutes. There we go, Matt Chris. You get the Brett Favre card. 
You also are going to get a 1986 Topps Pete Rose, a 1987 Donruss Daryl Strawberry, a 1990 Topps Roger Clemens, a 1987 Topps Don Mattingly, and a 1983 Topps Ricky Henderson. So there you go. That's your little prize package for the uh, regular Friday giveaway for commenting on videos during the week and getting randomized into the drawing. So there you go. Congratulations on that, Matt Chris. Get this little tag put on there for your cards for the week. There we go. I need to make a note for day on this Frank Thomas. So I can remember to send that out to Debbie as well. All right, you're welcome, Matt. Not a problem. I love giving stuff away. Okay, here we go. We have one more mystery pack to open for epiphany card collector here we go it is mystery pack number 15 let's get all of those cards pushed down so we're not chopping anything up with the scissors okay mystery pack number two There is our mystery PSA graded card. Ooh, we've got some tops chrome in this one. How about that? That'll be nice. Okay. Here we go. Good night, Debbie. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you next week. Have a great night and a great weekend. All right, first card is going to be a Chris Paddock rookie card, and that's a foil Chris Paddock right there. That's your first card. Your next card is going to be a Ronald Acuna Jr. Mythical from Donruss Optic, and this would have been 2020 Donruss Optic Acuna Jr., Mythical insert. That's a sweet card. Your next card is how about a 1985 Pete Rose? That's a good looking one right there. Nice corners and everything. The next card in your stack is a Dion Sanders. That's from 1994 Tops, Dion Sanders. Next card in the stack. Also, that's a 1997 Tops, Barry Larkin sliding into. Uh, oh, actually, he's uh, probably just jumping back to avoid getting tagged there. Nice Barry Larkin. Oh, let's see. Hey, a 1978 Tops Willie McCovey record breaker card. How about that? Nice Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. And your vintage card is a Hal McRae. This is from 19... 72 tops. Hal McRae of the Cincinnati Reds from 1972. And your unopened packs, 84 Pete Rose. Yeah, not, I'm not an 85. You're right. Okay, you unfortunately have one of these bricked up Donruss packs, or uh, upper deck packs, I mean. So because... These got put in here, and I didn't know they were bricked up until after everything was sealed up. I opened up some of those later. I have a replacement for you. Uh, where did my replacements go? Uh, no, 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 no. 
I set them down somewhere <laughs> on my desk. Oh, here we go. So the replacement packs, you can have your choice. Uh, actually, you already have a Topps Big League. So here's your um, additional pack that we'll open right now, this 2020 Donruss pack. This bricked up pack, you can open it up, take the stack of cards, set that stack of cards in your microwave for about 10 seconds, and then get something that you can slip between the cards. What that does is softens up the gloss, and then you can split them apart. So try that on that pack, and we will not open that one because we, you know, we don't want to uh, ruin those cards. So we'll start with this 2020 Donruss, and we'll do that. See what we can find for you. We'll start out with an Eduardo Escobar, a JD Martinez, and a Trevor Bauer. There's a Justin Dunn rated rookie, Cody Bellinger Diamond Kings, a Juan Soto. There's a purple foil Jonathan Villar and the last card in here is Hall of Famer Gary Carter uh, the Donruss throwback card right there so that's your Donruss pack let's open the big league pack next and then we'll do the tops chrome all right we'll start with an Isan Diaz a Nico Goodrum, Carlos Correa, and Malix Smith, a Nicky Lopez, your orange border is Tommy Edmond, and Carlos Correa, Defensive Wizards, Mike Yastrzemski, Lucas Castillo, and Mike Clevenger for your big league pack. Now, Topps Chrome from 2020. You don't see this around too much anymore, the 2020 Topps Chrome. And there's going to be Chris Paddock right there. Follow that up with a Travis Demerit. How about a Carter Kiboom Future Stars car? That's also your refractor. And a Kyle Seeger. To finish off the tops chrome pack. Now time to reveal the PSA graded card from this mystery pack. <clears throat> Let's see what we have. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I've got it pointed the right way. I do. Here we go. Who is going to be in this one? It is a 1987 Tops number 170. Hmm. Oh, how about that? A mint nine. 1987 Tops Bo Jackson rookie card. There's a beauty for you right there. I think this has gone up in value over the past year. I put these in these packs like eight months ago. And this is a beautiful card. 1987 Bo Jackson. All right. Pretty sweet. Congratulations on that one. <laughs> it is the Bo show tonight. We've had a couple of those, haven't we? Awesome. Congratulations to Epiphany Card Collector. We'll get these all packaged up and sent out to you. Within the next few days. All right. Put these back in the pouch for you here. Put them on your stack. All right. Okay. Just have to do a little housekeeping here. Get some things out of the way. 
All right, we still have 11 of those mystery packs left. If anybody else on the live stream wants to sponsor one of those for next Friday, they're available on the website, thegrimrippersden.com, and they're currently $25. There are still some nice cards to be had from these packs. Uh, so anyway, if you'd like to sponsor some of those, that would be awesome. All righty then. Let's open a few more packs before we close things up tonight. You're welcome, Epiphany, for uh, for those those packs. You bought them, but you know, <laughs> I'm happy to open them for you. I'm glad we found some good stuff in there. All righty then. Let's open up another couple of these 88 and 90 packs to close things out for the evening. We'll just see if we can find some of the good players from those. I'm glad everybody dropped by tonight. It is fun to do Fan Friday with all of you. Get together and chat a bit and look at some cool cards and give away a few things. Let's see who's hanging out in the 1988 tops pack hmm jack clark who else was in this particular set this um 1988 tops it seems like there there weren't uh too many great cards there's a jose lind rookie in the 88 tops other than the hall of famers you know then there's jim rice hall of famer got treble horn Win and Darling, Chili Davis, Smith, and Joel Davis. Yeah, uh, John says 50 to 60 bucks on that Bo Jackson PSA 9. So that uh, that covers the, uh, the cost of both of your Grimm's Hidden Treasure Packs for the week. That is always a nice thing to get it, get your value back out of those cards. Oh, you're going to keep him for your PC. I'm sure you will, being a Raiders fan. That's cool. All right, here's a 1990 pack. Let's see who we can pull out of this one. Hmm, let's see. Galarraga and Gaetti. Rooms. Cool Eric Davis. He was a popular player. Jeff Robinson and Mike Fitzgerald. Got Burns and Sandy Alomar. Belinda. Hmm. No Hall of Famers in here. Oh, how about a Deion Sanders? That's a cool one. I think, isn't that a Deion Sanders rookie card? I believe it is. Yeah, in 89, he came up to the Yankees. So that's a cool card. And Kevin Mitchell and Bill Kruger. So the cellophane pack from the 1990 tops, that was a test wrap that they did. So they're, I mean, they're kind of difficult to find. I happened to find a couple of boxes of those and I thought you would enjoy having an experimental wrap. So they, they experimented with that to replace this regular wax pack that you're used to. And so they did those uh, cellophane wraps to, I guess, avoid the, the wax stains and whatnot. So that's what you've got there is an experimental uh, type of wrap that they did on the 1990 tops. So yeah, those are a fun little pack to add to your collection of unopened stuff that you might want to keep unopened. Hey, Wicked Discounts, how you doing? All right, let's see if we can pull... Anybody fun out of this second pack of, well, there's the Tommy John surgery namesake, Tommy John himself. Hey, how about a 1988 tops all-star rookie of Mark McGuire? Of course, that's not his rookie rookie card, but still nonetheless, a popular player right there. 
Scott Bayless. And we'll add Mark McGuire's 1987 record breaker. So this is the uh, Mark McGuire pack. And there's that, that trout that no one's fishing for, Steve Trout. Of Jim Acker and Pedro Guerrero, Steve Ontiveros. Hey, how about a Cal Ripken Senior manager card? That's pretty cool. Nick Isaski and Len Dykstra, Keith Comstock, Paul O'Neill, and Rob Murphy to round out that 88 pack. And one more pack of 1990 tops. Who will we find in the 1990? Well, we've got a Scott Bradley and a Kevin Bass. Santavinia. There's Eric Davis again. Augusto and Combs. Burke, Scudder, White, Hesketh. This is going to be an anticlimactic pack right here. Not a single Hall of Famer in that pack. That's pretty sad. <laughs> a series of fishing videos just looking for all different players with fishing-related names. Are there quite a few? I haven't. I haven't noticed. Other than Mike Trout and Steve Trout, there's some guys named Bass that uh, I've seen. Who else uh, have you seen that's got that uh, a fishing related last name? All right. Let's see if there's something else we can do. Since we got some uh, new people just showed up, there's got to be something else we can do. Why don't we throw a little bit of football into tonight's uh, live stream? You know, last week, last week we opened a pack of this pro set to use as our shuffle decider, Catfish Hunter, there you go, our shuffle decider. And I pulled a Troy Aikman rookie card out of that pack, and I'm going to send it into PSA. It looked like it was in pretty nice condition. So that's where it's going. All right, let's look at some football cards real quick. See who we can see in this pack. Jack Del Rio. Didn't Jack Del Rio coach? Wasn't he one of the coaches for the Raiders for a short time? It seems like I remember him being... Some kind of coach for the Raiders. There's Anthony Munoz. Pat Ryan and Stanley Morgan. Pepper Johnson. Not too many. There's the refrigerator. How many of you remember when he, uh, they used him as a running back a couple of times to punch through the line in, uh, you know, in the red zone to, to get some touchdowns. It's like once or twice back in the mid 80s. That was quite the fun thing to watch. There's Michael Irvin for all you cowboy fans out there. And OJ Simpson, Hall of Famer OJ Simpson, right there. Number 32 himself. Mr. OJ. Let's see, 1989. Now, that's interesting. So in 1989, these are 89 or are these 1990? Where's the thing? Yeah, these are 1989. Yeah, this would have been about five years before his famous Bronco chase through California there. That was in 1994. So he was still getting put on the cards in 89. There he is. Rod Carew. Is that part of the 
fishing world. Oh, rod, fishing rod. Here we go, rod Karoo. Yeah, that works. I was thinking of names of fish, and I couldn't figure out why rod Karoo. But yes, the fishing rod. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Johnson and Vaughn Johnson. George Seifert. There's Herschel Walker. Now, I heard that Herschel Walker, to improve his, his nimbleness on the field while he was doing his running, that he was into ballet and other types of dancing to help him with his running back job. I don't know how true that is, but pretty interesting. Freddie Joe Nunn. There's a Raider, Bob Gullick. Tim Crumry, Jacob Green. There's Ricky Jackson. Hmm. Bob Costas. That's another guy that, look at this, two NBC guys. Bob Costas. Didn't Bob Costas get in trouble for something like some kind of harassment or something? Maybe it wasn't Bob Costas. I might be thinking of somebody else. But if so, we've got two NBC announcers there in OJ Simpson and Bob Costas, who they have both been in trouble. So maybe uh, being an announcer who gets put onto a, a trading card isn't a good thing. Who else can we find? I like checking out football cards back from the old days. Oh, sorry. I'll get Bob Costas out of the way. There we go. The, the Mark McGuire record breaker is a much better card to have showing there. I agree with you. There's Anderson and Nickerson and Eric Hill. I'm hoping to pull some uh, Hall of Fame folks out of these packs. Alonzo Nesmith and Gary James. Hmm. This is going to be a lackluster pack here. But our announcer is Merlin Olson right there. As far as I know, Merlin Olson kept himself out of trouble pretty well. Hey, Wayne Finnecum, how you doing? Welcome to our little chat session here. We're just looking at some uh, football cards for a minute. Just seeing who we can pull. That might be an NFL Hall of Famer. Lewis Billups. Oh, he's got the same last name as Chauncey Billups, the basketball player. Norm Johnson. Hmm. No big names coming up out of these pro set packs today. And we've got Vern Lundquist. As our announcer, got one more, one more football pack. And then we can see if um, we have some more fun stuff that we can chat about. Yeah, Pro Set was very produced. However, there's still some cards worth some money. You know, the, the rookie cards, that Aikman rookie is in PSA 10 condition is worth like I think it's between $150 and $200. So even though it's overproduced, people are still looking for it. There's Jerry Rice in his 49ers uniform. Went on to play with the Raiders, of course, and got into the Hall of Fame. There's Mecklenburg. Is Mecklenburg a Hall of Famer? I can't remember. Here's one for a places uh, set. Got Holland. I was talking about that the other day because we had Daryl Boston and uh, a few other people that have uh, the, you know, their name is a place. So that'd be another thing that you can do. Hey, there's a Andre Risen draft pick. Jay Schrader. There's a Raider. The Raider Jay Schrader. Metzelars and Lansford. Marshall Grimsley and Ahmad Rashad is the announcer in that pack.
All right. How about we open up one rack pack of eight, seven tops, just because that seems to be a very popular one. And we're going to randomly give that one to somebody. I don't know how we're going to randomize this, but uh, somehow we'll give this one to someone. How about this? I'm going to think of a number between one and 12 because we have 12 likes on this video right now. So every, so pick it up. So just uh, put a number in the chat between one and 12, and I'm going to think of a number and whoever is the closest is going to get the 87 tops rack pack that we're going to open here in a minute. Okay, Wayne Finnicum, you hit it right on the nose. I was right in between 1 and 12. Okay, so we're going to open this rack pack that is featuring Daryl Strawberry in the All-Star spot. I did pull a Michael Irvin from a pro set just a minute ago. Is that a good card to get? I know Michael Irvin is a popular player. Uh, let's see. Michael Irvin. I'm pretty sure we did. Do, 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 do. Can't remember how far back it was. Eric Coleman and Anderson. Yeah, no, no, no. Wow, he was way back there, wasn't he? Hmm. There's Walker, Vaughn Johnson. Yeah, it seems like he would have been near the top of the stack. There he is, Michael Irvin. Um, yeah, this is. Yeah, Irvin is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, there he is, Michael Irvin. Yep. Definitely in the Hall of Fame. All right, let's tear into this for Wayne Finnicum. Oh, you're welcome, Jeremy. All right. First stack in this 87 tops pack. Of course, we're going to start off with the Daryl Strawberry All-Star card. Billy Hatcher and Rance Mullenix. Gary Pettis. Mark Gabiska. There's Hall of Famer Tim Raines. Got Ozzy Guillen and Eric Plunk. Hey, could you put this one in your fishing one mess of things? Because, the, the, you know, when you cast the thing out, the, the hook kind of makes a little plunking sound when it hits the water. I don't know. It's a stretch. You could try that. <laughs> Sid Fernandez and Cecil Fielder. Got John Shelby and Brett Saberhagen. Okay, so that's Michael Irvin's rookie card, huh? Well, how about that? I'll have to make sure to take care of that one. Maybe put it in there with my uh, Troy Aikman card. All right, Jay Howell, Jeffrey Mumphrey, and Jim Presley. That's your first stack from the 1987 rack pack. Go for the center section next. So we've got Gene Michael, manager. Sal Batera and Bobby Thigpen. There's another Sox player. Bobby Valentine and Lance Parrish. Hey, how about Pete Rose's manager card? Eddie Whitson and Donnie Hill. 
Chris Wells, Jeff Stone, Will Fong, and Sierra. Bosley Wright. There's Greenwell, Smith, and Cotto. No Hall of Famers in that section either. Hmm. Hopefully, section three is better. In rack packs, you usually get a couple of Hall of Famers at least because there are 48 cards. And they're these are from a sealed box. So, I don't know. Mike Morgan. John Henry Johnson. Tony Armas. And Toby Heron, or Hera. All right, there's Ozzy Smith. That's a nicely centered Ozzy Smith All-Star card. So that's a nice one. Hall of Famer there. Jerry Reed and Frank Pastore. Giants leaders card. Hey, how about a 1987 Barry Bonds? That is a beautifully centered 1987 rookie card of Barry Bonds. That makes up for not getting any Hall of Famers in the pack. I'm going to top load this one for you. Because that is a great card to have from the 1987 Tops set. Sweet. Now, did he have an 86 traded card? Does anybody know? If Bonds was in the 86 traded set, because that might be um, his actual rookie card if he was in that 86 traded set. And Bill Buckner, Ro uh, Robbie Thompson, and Urbano Lugo to finish off your rack pack of 1987 tops. Well, there you go. That wasn't a bad little win for Fan Friday just for picking a random number you got yourself a Barry Bonds 1987 tops nice stuff let me make sure to mark this stack of cards for you so that I am sure to send it to the correct person you are welcome okay excellent well, that was a fun rack pack to open Get rid of some of these wrappers off my sh table here. Make some room for actual cards. Okay. Uh, Matt Matt tells us that that is Barry Bonds' rookie card, 1987 tops. I'm going to sleeve up the Michael Irvin card while I'm sleeving things, since that's his rookie card as well. And I want to make sure I keep that one nice. Take Bob Costas off the screen. There we go. Okay. Let's do one more of those 87 rack packs. And uh, for this one, let's see. Why don't we choose a number between... One and 50. I've got the number written down right now. Choose a number between one and 50. Whoever is closest will get the next 1987 Tops Rack Pack. Okay, we've got a 16. We've got a 35 from Epiphany. A 26 from Matt. A 
a 17 from Jeremy. Anybody else? There's a 13 from Wayne just for fun. There we go. Anybody else out there want to put in a number? 42, 55. Hey, you're five over. Don't talk to robots. Between one and 50. <laughs> All right. Anybody else going to put a, a guess out there? All right. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Number I wrote down was 37. That means 35 is the closest to 37. And that means Epiphany Card Collector is closest with 30, uh, 35. So we're gonna open a rack pack for Epiphany Card Collector. Now this one fe uh, featuring Keith Hernandez in the all-star spot. We've got Bob McClure and Rick Manning. And on the back, there's a Rob Deere and Alvaro Espinosa and a Rick Leach. Hey, couldn't uh, Leach go along with your fishing one? Because don't you use leeches as bait? I don't know. Or you could get leeches stuck on you if you're out there fly fishing or something. So that could be one for your fishing expedition of cards. All right, let's start with the other end of this one with the bottom of the rack pack it's going to be rick manning all right rick manning uh tony bernazard all-star here's a dwight gooden alan anderson some twins leaders Rich Gedman and Luis Aguayo, Ken Phelps, Greg Swindell and Mike Brown, Checklist, Mike Loind, Brad Havens, Gorman Thomas, Andres Thomas, and there's Rick Leach himself. All right, let's head to the middle one of this pack. Bob McClure. Didn't the Simpsons always use the name Bob McClure? You might remember me from such episodes as, or was that a different McClure? Whenever I see a Bob McClure card, I think of the Simpsons. I don't know why. There's Doug Drebeck. Hey, how about a Ken Griffey Sr.? Ken Griffey's dad there. Doug Sisk and Randy O'Neill. There's Bruce Souter, Hall of Famer. Nice card right there. Could do a series of cards of guys who have girls' names. So you've got Bob Shirley, and then there's, um, is it Steve Belinda uh, in that other opening we had? I don't know if there's many of those out there that have a girl's name as a last name. Rick Cerrone and Dwayne Ward, John Cruck, Magadan rookie card, Dick Hauser and Alvaro Espinoza. And one more pack right here. Troy McClure, that's right, Troy McClure. It's been so long since I watched a Simpsons episode that, you know, not surprising I couldn't remember that. Yeah, Hershiser. I haven't seen a Hershiser in a while. He seems to be difficult to find anywhere. 
We got Dick Schofield and Cecil Fielder. John Shelby and Saber Hagen. There's Sam Beto and Hullett. Smithson, Howell, Mumphrey, Presley. We've seen these guys before. Clint Hurdle, McCullers, Espino, Darling, and Rob Deer. Well, at least you got a Rob Deer, someone that you collect, but, and I think we had that Ozzy Smith Hall of Famer in there. So there is that pack for Epiphany. I'll put that with your mystery packs that we opened earlier. Do that right there. All right. We have time for one more little rip for somebody. I have only four packs of this left. So let's open up four packs of 88 tops. And um, I don't know. Darling could go either way. So yeah, you could probably use that as a girl's name and add that to the list. I wouldn't be opposed to that. All righty then. I'm thinking of a month right now. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking of a month. I want everybody to put what month you were born in on the board. So what month were each of you born in? <laughs> John, I am not a crook. That's good. Wayne Finnegan, born in August. Okay. May for Matt. Okay. I was born in September. Who else do we have? What month was everyone born in? Anyone who wants to participate. There's nine of you out there. December for Jeremy, September for robots, November. And September again. All right. The month that I had written down was August. And I put Wayne's name next to that because he was also born in August. Oh, not also, but he was born in August. So Wayne, how about another little rip for you here? Do we have anybody else? I guess we got everybody. All right. So Wayne, we're going to open these four packs of 88 pops for you. Let's see who is in here. Hopefully, there are some players that you enjoy collecting or at least some people from your favorite team. We're going to have a Hall of Famer right there, Jack Morris. And, of course, uh, last week, Debbie got Jack Morris's rookie card from 1978 Tops as her PSA graded card from her mystery pack. Who else do we have in here? There's Rick Leach again making another appearance. How about a Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer Wade Boggs? You've got two Hall of Famers so far in this pack. Jack Morris and Wade Boggs. There's Les Straker. Gary Matthews and Dan Petrie. Kevin Mitchell, Juan Nieves, Candelaria, have a Hall of Famer, Greg Maddox. Another Hall of Famer. That's a good pack. Keith Miller and Odeby McDowell. That was a pretty good pack. Three Hall of Famers. Who are the rookies in 1988 tops? Can anybody tell me that? Got Mike Smithson, Len Matuzek, 
Andy McGaffigan. There's Matt Noakes. A couple of twins leaders. Danny Darwin. Steve Sachs. Dave Rigetti. Yvonne Calderon. Sid Fernandez, some Padres leaders, Tony Gwynn. Yep, got Tony Gwynn and uh, Benny, uh, Benito Santiago. Vincent Palacios, Charlie Kerfeld and Don Carmen, and Scott Bankhead. That one was a little slower than the first pack. <laughs> so we look we're looking for ellis burks ken caminetti tom glavin and matt williams are the key cards from this set <clears throat> so we've got dick schofield and kurt ford kelly gruber Terry McGriff, Barfield Reedus, Pankovitz, there's John Tudor and Wally Backman, Price and Brown, Wegman and Stewart, Brian Dayet, and Jesse Orozco. One more chance to pull a key card. I'm going to start with Tim uh, Teufel, Jamie Quirk, Mike Stanley, and Cecil Cooper, Glenn Davis, and Billy Bean. There's the actor, Fred Lynn, Jim Acker, Pedro Guerrero, Don Ace, Eddie Williams, and Bob Melvin. Rasmussen, Beaver, and Jose Uribe. So your best cards were probably the Maddox, the Morris, and the Boggs right there. We'll get those added to your stack, Wayne. Congratulations on those. Where is your stack? Do, 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 do. Did you have a stack of cards tonight? I Maybe you didn't. Yeah, there it is. You had a, that 87 rack pack with the Bo Jackson or the Barry Bonds. I'm sorry. You had the Barry Bonds card in yours. There we go. Perfect. Well, I want to thank everybody for dropping in tonight for the live stream. I appreciate it. We're going to wrap it up now. I hope everybody had a great time and enjoyed seeing the cards opened. Again, we have uh, plenty of mystery packs still available if people want to participate in those next week. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great weekend. And uh, I hope everyone also has a great week. Make sure you're commenting on those videos so that you can be in the running for next week's prize giveaway. Have a great night, everybody. And thanks so much for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. Have a good evening.